Hi sweeties! Today we're gonna start a new series here on the channel called No More Drama. Give me some suggestions if you have a better name idea. And I'm gonna read some emails you sent me and give you my very wise advice. <laughs> and before we start with the precious advice, don't forget to subscribe because I post videos three times a week and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps the channel. Okay, I'm so curious. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anyone's names, okay? Because the stories might be a bit personal. Hi, Julia. Yesterday I was at a party and I was wearing a dress and I was super confident. And then a bunch of my friends told me I looked like I was going to a funeral. I'm going to another party soon and I don't want it to happen again. Any tips? P.S. Here's a dress. Oh, I have a dress exactly like yours. Look, me and your friends need to have a serious talk because I'm not having anyone offending my dress. Hmm. So, the thing is, I'm pansexual and I have homophobic parents. All I want is them to accept me when I come out. I'm sure I'm gonna wait really long because I'm only 15 and they could kick me out. <gasps> so, I better wait until I'm 18 or older. But do you have any tips? about how people with homophobic parents could come out. And by the way, thank you so much. I wouldn't know who to ask for these kind of things. That is just so adorable from you. Heart, heart, heart. <laughs> oh dear, that's tough because I think it's probably even harder for pansexuals because a lot of people don't even know what it is and they think it's a completely different thing. You know, once I've heard a teacher, you know, a teacher that's supposed to be someone at least a little bit intelligent and <laughs> open-minded. And he said in a classroom that pansexual people are just people that sleep with everything that walks. And that's so sad that people actually think that and so wrong. But I think what you could do is maybe talk to your parents about other people who are pansexual as well. Or even gay or lesbian or bisexual. And just talk to them that it's a normal thing. And tell them all the things they go through and all the homophobic stuff that shouldn't be happening. Maybe they will open their minds and then when you come out they will have a different opinion. But if you really know that nothing's gonna change their mind or if they're very religious or something, wait. Wait until you're overeating and you have a job, you can pay for your own bills because if something goes wrong, you can always support yourself and live on your own because I don't want them to be repressing you or locking you in the house or something. Just be careful, sweetie. My sad, sad story. Dear Julia, I was at school once and I had put on my new secondhand buffalo platform shoes. They were so beautiful and I was so proud. But in the middle of the day, in class, they started to break down like, what the fuck? So I was just walking around with a tray of shoe bits behind me. Already people were making fun of me for having weird footwear, but now everyone saw me weirdly moving through recess with just half a shoe. I had to call my mom and she brought me something to replace my buffaloes that I had bought the day before for like 5 euros. I was so sad and I'm still looking for affordable cool platform shoes. Do you have any ideas? P.S. I am still traumatized by this story. And remember, kids test something before you buy it if you want to escape the embarrassment. Wow. If it was me, I would be so sad as well. My new shoes. <laughs> I don't know because I just buy cheap shit <laughs> as well. But maybe next time you buy a cheap pair of shoes or anything, you wear it once like at home for a day or something to see if they are alright and then you wear it at school or somewhere important. This way, if it goes wrong, nobody will know. Hey Julia, I have a minor friend problem. I cosplay, but there aren't many conventions where I am. The last time there was a convention near me, I began planning four months before because I was so excited. My two best friends had agreed to go, but one cancelled a week before and the other cancelled on the day, meaning I had no one to go with. There's another convention coming up and again, I'm hella excited because it would be my first con. I've told my two best friends about it and they said they'll go, but I'm scared they'll leave me Again. I have another friend who cosplays and they would happily come with me but my best friends and her don't get along. I love my best buddies but they're unreliable and are keeping me from showing off my top-notch cosplays. Any advice? If I were you, I would invite this other friend that your best friend doesn't like. Anyway, because I mean they cancelled once, now they don't have like the right to tell you not to bring someone else as well. And it's not like you're not inviting them, you're inviting as well. They're just gonna have to deal with this person that they don't like. If I could, I would go with you as well. 
Now, I just want to read this email I received. It's not asking for advice, but I just thought it was so cute and it made me so happy that I want to read here. This isn't an email asking for help. This is an email to say thank you to you. Your videos have shown me that it's okay to be different and that people will stare at you and say things, but as long as you're happy, it's okay. I've never felt like that before. I've always felt like I could never fit in or I had to like something that I didn't like because it was normal to like it. I've been bullied for being bisexual and for being an overweight and then for being underweight, and then for dressing different or listening to a certain band. One day I had enough and broke down. I cried and cried and the videos that used to help me didn't anymore. Then I discovered your channel and all the funny little videos that you did and the stuff saying about what you like and what you've gone through made me feel like I wasn't alone. This is such a stereotypical thing to say, but you saved my life. Well, you showed me that life was worth living and that I should just be happy and embrace my weirdness. Show the world that I don't give a fuck about what they say. So thank you for the bottom of my chilly little heart. I actually almost cried the first time I read this email because, wow, well, <laughs> did you think that like just a video I filmed made someone feel better? Like, oh, so cute. Oh, thank you so much for your email. That's so sweet. And I'm so happy the channel made you feel a little bit better. And oh, I'm so grateful to have your support and all of you that subscribed. Like, you give me so much love every day in your comments and emails and everything. Oh, thank you so much, seriously. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> okay, that was it for today. If you want some amazing advice, send your story to Julia No More Drama at outlook.com and tell me in the comments if you liked it if you want me to do more of those or not if you want follow me on the social media thank you so much for watching have a very very lovely day Mwah.